I got a bunch of books at a bunch of different bookstores, so it's pretty random selection. I went to visit my friend in Indiana, and I thought, what if I tried to hit up every bookstore that I could? So I did six bookstores in seven days. Hi, Francis. Right by me, how rude. I attempted to get seven bookstores in seven days, but that was just too much. So this is what we got for you. We, who's the we? I don't know. So let me show you the books I got. First bookstore I went to was Bombay's Books, I believe, or Bombs Bay, which is in Bloomington, Illinois. Okay, so I'm in Bloomington, Illinois, not Indiana, because America, not very creative, at least in the Midwest. I'm gonna be checking out this bookstore. I just got done with lunch at Soul Mama, which is so fucking good, but I was too uh, shy to, to film anything there. Am I in our frame? And now I'm about to head to a bookstore. Let's go check it out. And they do use new and out of print books. It was a super cool store, super sweet staff. I really dug the vibe of the store. It was a, it was a cool vibe. And they actually do like seasonal bookmarks. And so I thought this was a great twist on the like kind of lame bookstore bookmarks that like this was kind of cool and Halloweeny and like they seemed to collaborate with an artist for it. So that's dope. So the book I got is this really cool historical nonfiction book called Kamikaze Cherry Blossoms and Nationalism, The Militarization of Aesthetics in Japanese History by Onuki Tierney. Super dope and not very likely that I would find it at my local library or what have you. So I was down to get it. The next bookstore we went to with my friend. So now we're talking about the bookstores I went to in Indiana and one was Second and Charles. This is a really fun chain of bookstores that has a mixture of new and used, not only books, but other stuff, which is nifty. And so I got Paradise of the Blind by Duong Thu Hong. It's apparently about three Vietnamese women struggling to live in a society in Hanoi. So the thing that caught my eye is this little thing at the top here that says, banned in its own country, the first novel from Vietnam ever published in the US. You got me. Old. Then I got me another Kurt Vonnegut, The Sirens of Titan. I really like his work. He is such a smart dude. So I'm, I'm excited to dive in. Ain't I a Woman? Black Women and Feminism by Bell Hooks. And I'm excited for this because I've actually been looking for this since I was in college. I read an excerpt from this book for my feminist philosophy course, but I'm excited to read the whole thing now. The Autobiography of My Mother by Jamaica Kincaid. So I've read two books by her. I'm excited to read more by her. There's this little blurb. My mother died at the moment I was born, and so for my whole life there was nothing standing between myself and eternity. At my back was always a bleak black wind. It's gonna give me the feels, I can just tell. Then we have The Girl Who Played Go by Sean Sa, about when the Japanese military invades Manchuria in, in the 1930s. So it's a Chinese twist on Romeo and Juliet, so hello. It looks like it won a prize, which is always a nifty bonus. Yeah, so here's the interesting thing. So it's translated from the French. So I thought that was pretty dope. So she is the author, I mean. She was born in Beijing, left China for France. And so I'm just intrigued by this author alone. I mean, it sounds like she's lived quite a life and I'm excited to read this book. What more is there to say? Oh, and also I got this next book for a buckaroni. And it's quite the steal. I know it's a question we've been asking ourselves, which is where underpants come from. <laughs> from cotton field to checkout counter, travels through the new China and into the new global economy by Joe 
spin it. And I'm like, yes, I don't, I don't need to read the back. I don't need to read the first page. You got me an underpants. I mean, it, I, I love nonfiction where someone was just like, I need to know. <laughs> I need to know this weird random thing. And then they like write a whole book on it. The next bookstore is called Green Door. cute little bookstore. It had nice like local artwork and all that fun stuff. I was looking through and perusing and I had a couple books that I was going to get and then I found out every single book in the bookstore was a dollar, <laughs> which is dangerous. So I ended up getting a few more because I'm like, it's a dollar. Like I don't know how that business model works, but it's a dollar. I can't say no to that. So anyway, here we go. The Coaching Habit, Say Less, Ask More, and Change the Way You Lead Forever by Michael Bungay Tanier. Um, as I get into coaching more and just working on my like people skills, speaking skills, I thought why not? I hadn't heard of it, but you know, even like bad books can still teach you something. Next we have Manage Your Day to Day, Build Your Routine, Find Your Focus, and Sharpen Your Creative Mind. Edited by Jocelyn K. Glee. It has insights from a bunch of different authors, uh, none of which I've heard of, but you know. Why not? We'll give it a gander. Next, I've been like itching to re read this book and it's such a chunker that it just makes more sense to like own it than to feel uh, pressured by the return date for li a library. It was at the green door for a dollar, so <laughs> why not? And that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And like, as you can tell, chunker, like thousand plus pages. Oh wait, no, this is the short book. It's 722. His other books reach past a thousand. If you haven't read that, I highly recommend it. Next we have Shadows and Wind, A View of Modern Vietnam by Robert Templer. And yeah, I, I don't know much about modern Vietnam, even though I did. I was lucky enough to visit Hanoi. And I think that's the case for most Americans, that we don't know much past like the Vietnam War. And I wanna change that. Next we have Autumn in the Heavenly Kingdom. China, the West, and the Epic Story of the Taiping Civil War by Stephen R. Is it Stephen or Stephen? It's Stephen. Uh, what am I doing? See, at least I, I am like equally bad at all names, no matter the culture. Cool little cover, if you can see it. And I don't know anything about the Taiping Rebellion, which is apparently one of the bloodiest civil wars in history. And I, I really love nonfiction that like hones in on a specific thing. And I'm more likely to purchase nonfiction about a history that's harder to come by. Like everyone and their mom has a book on World War II, um, even World War One, easy enough to come by. But something like this, it's worth picking up and it was just a dollar. So even if it takes me a couple years to read it, I consider that a worthwhile investment. Next, my friend and I went and visited a cafe called Sip, which I loved. It's the full hipster moment, highly recommend. And then right next door, there's a bookstore called Miles Books. I found some fun stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over in these videos because I don't have much to say. Like, I haven't read them. I thought they were nifty. I bought them. So we have Peasants, Rebels, and Outcasts, The Underside of Modern Japan by Mikaso Hane. Yes, please. Let's learn more about modern Japan. Yeah, I just think that's, that's going to be a really cool subject. And again, like, it's not something you're going to find willy-nilly. Next we have The Path to the Nest of Spiders by... Italio Calvino. That's probably butchering the name. It just is what it is, guys. It takes place during World War II. I've read one other book by him. It wasn't bad, but I wasn't in love with it, but I'm willing to give him another chance because, you know. Oh, there's a little thing that says it's neglected books of the 20th century. Now, don't I feel special because I'm not neglecting it. Hmm. Huh. Next we have Somewhere in Ireland, A Village is Missing an Idiot by David Faraday. And I don't know anything about this guy. <laughs> But he's apparently 
a wacky, popular on-screen golf personality. And um, I don't know, it just seems like fun. And out of what I would normally get, I mean, do I need more of an explanation? Come on. And then last from Miles Books, I got The Orsian Tales by Ursula K. Le Guin. And I just think this is such a dope cover. And if you've been watching my channel, you know, I just love the little mass market paperback size books. So this was like a no brainer. And it's apparently 11 short stories. So we'll see. The last two book stories were in Springfield, Illinois. The first was the Elf Shelf books and music, I think is what it's called. Another day, another bookstore. store again i kind of vibed with every bookstore i went to they all were kind of unique in their own way but had some cool stuff and i decided to go with the lady and the monk four seasons in kyoto by pico ear ear and i like the cover first off but i'm just such a sucker about anything from japan and i read something else by this author and i liked his writing so i was curious to see his thoughts on kyoto and then the last book was from Prairie Archive. And I'm so mad at myself that I didn't a lot more time to be in Springfield because I could have easily spent three hours at this bookstore. I highly recommend it if you're there. You'll just get lost. It's great. But maybe for my wallet it's best that I didn't have a lot of time. Anyway, I got Video Night in Kathmandu and other reports from the Not So Far East, also by Pico Ear. So not only did that sound interesting, it was just too perfect that I'd already picked up a book by the same author and I'm like, well, they belong together. And so there we are. There we have it. Um, I don't know what you guys got out of this. I just said a bunch of words at you. Um, <laughs> let me know if any of these sound interesting to you. Like I said, I told you it was going to be random. Kind of is with youth bookstore hauls. But it's so much fun because you find stuff that you've like never heard of, you've never seen before, and it's like so reminiscent of the moment because it's like, <laughs> like it like it, it embeds itself, like the, the memory into that book of like, oh, I remember when I got this and the trip I was on and all of that fun stuff. So, catch you later on the flippity flip. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to end these. Like, you're not even here. Ugh. Bye.